Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffy back with another video. All right, y'all, I got a little simple video. It might be simple and really nothing big to y'all, but to some people, this is very important to begin their day. I'm gonna show y'all how to make a nice fluffy omelet with no color. Let me give you a little background. As a chef in the food industry, even when they show you in cooking school, it's the little things in cooking that makes means a lot to other people. This is one of my pet peeves, and I've told y'all before when I go to restaurants and stuff, simple people don't know how to cook an egg. They don't know how to scramble an egg. They don't know how to do egg over easy. They don't know how to do omelets. They don't have a clue. You go to these places like IHOP and Denny's and all these places, it is absolutely amazing and ridiculous how people can't cook an egg. It's something so simple, they don't have a clue. And like I say, usually, I've taught this at a young age, breakfast starts people day. You can ruin a person's eating at the, right at the beginning of the day just by something as simple as an egg. It was drilled into me in cooking school and as I went into the food industry, how important it is to know how to scramble eggs, do eggs over easy, how to poach an egg properly, and how to cook eggs uh, uh, an omelet. I was drilled into me to not have color on egg. You can cook an egg without having any brown, black, dark color on the egg. The egg should be perfectly yellow when you finish cooking it. There's a method to it, and it's very simple, but most of people do not care at all the method, like they say, the method of the madness. So what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna step off. I got some ham here, I'm gonna warm this ham up. We're gonna do a regular ham and cheese omelet. Very simple ham and cheese omelet. I'm using three eggs here. Most omelets are three eggs. A little vegetable oil, salt and pepper, and that's it. And I got my non-stick skillet. This is very important. I've had this skillet for 12 years, look at it. See it, 12 years, I only use it for eggs. My team, everybody know, do not put anything in this skillet besides eggs and a rubber spatula. If you do that, you can your skillet will last forever. We have skillets in the food industry and stuff. We have when we used to do omelets. I used to do omelets uh, when I first started cooking in the club where I worked for about maybe six years. That was my job before I started my regular shift. I used to come in early on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I did omelets. I did a maybe three or four hundred omelets every week on Sunday because Sunday brunch. Then two o'clock I did my two to ten shift. So I used to do a twelve hour shift every Sunday. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. It was so exciting to do omelets. And I'm gonna show you how to do the omelets. Very simple, very easy, nothing in it, but you gotta have that heart and care when you cook. I tell people 60, 70 percent of cooking is having care and heart in what you're doing in it. If you don't want to do it, like I tell people, when you, even young chefs, I go talk to young chefs, if you don't have a heart and soul and love for cooking, get out of here. I tell them, I tell them straight up, you leave the class now, get out of the industry, if you don't have a love and heart and passion for this, because it's not, you don't, don't get in for the money, because the money come later, but right in the beginning, don't get in for the money. I told them, quit watching those people on Food Network, all them fancies. That ain't where it is in the cooking industry. That's TV. When you're really in the kitchen industry and really grinding, it's long hours, hard work, and low money. I tell them straight up. I don't sugarcoat it or nothing. I say, if you don't have a heart and soul and love for cooking, get out the classroom and leave because this is not for you. You got to have a loving heart. And y'all know me. I already watch my video. I absolutely love cooking. I love it if I didn't have no YouTube channel and have nobody watching me. I would still cook every day in my house for my neighbors. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna step off, heat this uh, ham up, get my skillet heating up. I don't want it too hot. I'll discuss that later when I come back. But anyway, y'all, this is gonna be big country breakfast, a little small version of big country breakfast. But I think it's something very important for somebody to watch. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. I heated my ham up. See it smoking back there? I got it heated up. Now, we're going to move over here to this little skillet here. A little bitty skillet here. Okay, see if I can zoom y'all in anymore. I guess I can't. Okay. And it's just going to be very simple method, y'all. Okay. I got my hand heating up. I don't want it really, really hot. I usually go by the temperature of my hand. Okay. Now, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my uh, eggs here. See my eggs? 
I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper. I like to season my eggs already, so that I'm, I'm all about seasoning the eggs ahead of time. And just something I just like doing. And what I do, take my fork here. Let me show y'all here. Oh no, I'm dripping the skillet. And I just whip the egg up right here. Get it all whipped up good with the fork. Y'all watching the skillet. Y'all watch that skillet for me. Now, the skillet is pretty hot. Now, what I do, I put a little oil in there, not a lot. Just a little oil like this. I'm going to turn this down because I know this is too hot. See how that's smoking? That is too hot. So I'm going to turn it down a little here. Do not use, I'm going to say this three times, do not use butter when you're cooking eggs. Do not use butter when you're cooking eggs. Do not use butter when you're cooking eggs. Why? Butter burns. Butter burns so quick and it will ruin your eggs if you don't know what you're doing. Now I can cook eggs with butter because I've been doing it for so many years and I know how to kind of regulate it. But if you don't know what you're doing, know how to cook with butter, know how to regulate the temperature and know when it's going to burn, do not do it. Just use regular vegetable oil, peanut oil. You can use olive oil if you would like. I just don't like olive oil with my eggs. I don't like how it makes it taste. So what I'm going to do, now make sure you have everything ready when you do this. Okay, I got my rubber spatula. I got my skillet heating up. I'm making sure it's not uh, too hot. Now, what I'm going to do, I add my eggs to this. Once I add the eggs to this, I'm going to start this. I'm going to pour from the side. See this? Pour from the side, the eggs here. See that? I even take it off the fire. If it starts getting a little bit too hot, I pull it from the side. You can control it just like that. <clears throat> take it off the fire. Start getting too hot. That's how you control it. See that? Now, now what I'm going to do, all I'm going to do when I see it's kind of cooked a little, it'll let you know. Flip it over just like that. Now, now I'm going to put my ham in here. I'm going to turn this off. I'm through with it now. And my cheese. Now the heat is going to kind of regulate this when the cheese is going to melt. As I flip it over in the plate. I'm going to do. Flip it up like this. And my cheese. Now the heat is going to kind of regulate this when the cheese is going to melt. As I flip it over in the plate. I'm going to do. Flip it up like this. I'm going to do the flip method right on the plate, y'all. Right on the plate. I'm going to move y'all over here and let y'all see this. See this? See this perfect omelet? Now, what, what you can do, move this skillet off the fire. You can, uh, what I should do, I put too much cheese in here. But see this omelet? See that? The perfect omelet, y'all. See that? Got little brown on there. I'd get off. I, they take off 20 points for that if I was in a competition. But see how pretty that is? You don't want the outside of your omelet to be brown. That's perfect omelet right there, y'all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to step off, do my famous YouTube uh, thumbnail, come back, and we're going to have us a nice ham and cheese omelet. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back here. Sorry for that, y'all. Look at this. And the cheese is melted just sitting there like that, y'all. Okay, let me cut this in half here so y'all can see inside here. See that? Perfectly cooked. See that? If you don't like cheese in your omelets, what kind of person are you? What kind of person are you? Look at this. Look at that, yeah, y'all. Let me try a bite. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Nice and fluffy. Perfectly cooked. And got that's an omelet, y'all. Mm. Bit more of that cheese on there. Cheese could have melted a little bit more, but hey, it is what it is. The key is. Definitely the salt the egg. And you ain't gotta put no salt. Tell y'all. 
Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Let me set this down while I can enjoy it. This is my breakfast today, y'all. Messing up my diet. Messing up my diet, y'all. Look at this. Look at that. And like I say, y'all, look. I'm in that brown, perfectly cooked. Mm. Wow. Way to start your morning. One more bite, y'all. And one little thing I did wrong, y'all probably didn't notice, maybe you did. I should have put the cheese first and then the ham. Like I said, I even get a brain cramp while I'm doing videos, y'all. If you put the cheese right on the hot egg, it would have melted a lot better. So when, but we, when you flip it over, then you put your cheese first, then put your ham, and then fold it over. Even though the cheese still going to melt, but it'll melt a little bit quicker. That method. And then you can do it with peppers, onions, chorizo. The, the thing is limited what you can put in omelet. I don't know. If you ever been to a big omelet station in like a brunch or something, we have 20 different toppings. One thing used to kind of mess me up was somebody used to come with 10 toppings and want me to put in an omelet. And I'm looking at them like, really? You want me to put 10 toppings in this omelet? And you think it's going to come out right? Another thing, I used to have a co-worker. I didn't know it worked so good until I used to do it. After the omelet station was over, you know, we could eat, make our own omelet. He used to take omelet and put chili on top of the omelet. Oh, my God. And some cheese on top of the omelet after he make it with the stuff in it. Oh, my God. I never tasted something. I thought it was weird at first. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Chili and cheese right on top of the egg omelet. Mm, mm, mm. I'm telling you. And that was on the station. And a lot of the customers used to do that, too. But anyway, y'all. I know this is not a fancy video, but it's something I wanted to share with y'all and let y'all kind of know the proper way to do an omelet. So anyway, y'all, let me close this video. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe. Please uh, follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember, hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I'll, oh, before I leave, uh, it'll probably upload tomorrow. I had an amazing, but I do this all the time, but I never videotape it. And I asked the lady, my daughter, if I could do this. She said, most definitely. I'm going to share it. I got to get the video kind of set like I want. I'm going to share a video, y'all, that I met this nice, actually, family. And you've probably seen on social media, I posted, the lady reached out to me and wanted me to, you know, meet her mom that kind of watched me all the time on YouTube, and I, I agreed to it. And I'm going to share with y'all how we really set it up, and I didn't know her daughter went beyond and way beyond to make her mom's day and happy. I was just a little part of it. But I'm going to show a video, I'm going to share it with y'all tomorrow, how we set it up in details and how I like doing things like this. And I always do stuff like this, but I never video. Y'all know I'm not big in videotaping things as I help people. But this one I want to do because it was very special to me. And I want to do more of it. I'm going to give you details how I can do this and how I can help y'all more. Like I said, I'm not all about the talk. Y'all know that. I'm about walk to walk, not talk to talk. So anyway, watch the video tomorrow. So anyway, let me close the video out again. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV. Follow me on TikTok. I'm getting live on that. And oldschoolsoulfood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022. Helping others with a purpose of old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.